Hello everyone, welcome back to our science lesson year 2. Today we will be going to learn unit 7, electricity. Don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. So class, our topic for today is electric. Our content standard 7.1 electric circuit. Our learning standard for today is 7.1.1 Identify component in an electric circuit that is dry cell, bulb and switch 7.1.2 Explain function of the components in a complete electric circuit 7.1.3 Build a complete electric circuit using dry cell, bulb switch and connecting wires 7.1.4 predict why bulb does not light up in a circuit and 7.1.5 record whether a bulb will light up when the switch is replaced with other objects or materials by carrying out investigation Class, our first topic for today is identifying the electrical components. We can build an electric circuit by using these electrical components. What are they? The first one, dry cell. Second one, Switch Third one Connecting wires Fourth Bob And fifth Dry cell holder Dry cell Dry cell Switch Switch Bob Bob Connecting wires Connecting wires Dry cell holder. Dry cell holder. Okay, now we move to the next topic that is functions of the electrical components. Electrical components have their own functions. Dry cell, the function is to supply electrical energy. Bulb, the function is to produce light. And switch, the function is to complete and break an electrical circuit. Okay class, let us look at this picture. This is an uh, example of a complete electric circuit. Okay, look at this picture. We have dry cell, bulb, switch, and connecting wires. You can see that the bulb is on there. Okay, now we move to the next topic. Why doesn't the bulb light up? Look at this picture. Uh, wow, my bulb lights up. Why doesn't my bulb light up? My bulb doesn't light up too, teacher. There are many possibilities why the bulb doesn't light up. Okay, you should remember this. 
If the bulb does not light up in a complete circuit, the reason could be an open switch, dry cells lack of energy, a damaged bulb, bulb is not properly fastened onto the holder, and wire connections are not connected. Next, we we'll move on to the next one, conductors and insulators. What do you understand about conductors and insulators? I'm a paper clip. I allow electric current to flow through me because I'm a conductor. Okay, this is the paper clip. A conductor is a material that allows electric current to flow through it. Next one. I'm a rubber. I don't allow electric current to flow through me because I'm an insulator. This is a rubber. An insulator is a material that does not allow electric current to flow through it. Okay, understand? Okay, now we look at some example of conductors. The first one, spoon. Second one, nail. And third one, screw. Next one, what are the example of insulators? The first one, eraser. Second one, paper. And third one, straw. These are the example of insulators. Okay class, that's all for our lesson today. Have a great day. Bye.